Hi, my name is Miles Niesel. We just got through the 2017 NPC Felicia Romero Classic slash Western Regional. Brought to you by Carlotti Surgical Centers. Albert and Michelle, the best surgeons there is. Those guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for sponsoring the shows. And we'd like to welcome our new title sponsor, Spearmac. They do amazing, especially with the Apple products. Anything from phones to laptops to computers, they'll take care of anything for you. They're absolutely amazing. Thanks for joining the team, Experimac. And we're standing at the overall winner of Men's Physique Division. Your name, sir? Jesse Snyder. Jesse Snyder, I watched the overall. I did not see much of the classes during prejudging. A lot of things going on, so I did not see that. I jumped out front to watch the overall for the Physique Division. And I'm telling you, in my opinion, in the years, how long has Physique been around now? Five years? Sounds six, about right. Five, five, six years, something like that, yeah. Um, the best overall I've seen yet. Um, all, was there five divisions in there, right? All five could be overall winners and multiple shows. And all were amazing. Um, I, I thank God I'm not a judge. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. You beat some amazing people. Winning the show was huge. Congratulations on that. What did you think of your competition? The competition was extremely stiff. Um, I looked at all the guys in the lineup, and uh, honestly, I was just incredibly floored to be up there with everyone. Yeah, and there were some big dudes up there, too. Yeah. Now, what, what, what height were you? What division? Well, technically, I was the shortest guy up there, being from Division A. You're, yeah, A division, yeah. And so when, you know, yeah, good little man, it's the old thing. A good little, started back in Arnold and Franco days, right? A good little man, a good, I guess a good big man. And that's tough to do. And you did it. Just shows that you're, you're now the giant killer. That's perfect. Actually, um, you know, somebody from your team, and I'd like to find out, you know, what his name was because it all happened so fast. But he gave me a tip that, that really, really helped me in the overall. He told me to widen out more so that I could beat the taller guys. And I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this because, you know, that <laughs> helped me a lot. It helped yeah. me a lot. So your team is an incredible, and I really, really appreciate that. Nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, they um, always give a little helpful hints here and there. Um, have you competed before? Yes, this will be my fifth show. Nice. So have they been with other organizations or, I mean, other promoters, I should say? Yeah, I've done uh, mostly a varied um, uh, varied shows. Mm -hmm. This will be my second Miles show. Nice. Yeah, and I would have to say, I mean, as far as organization goes, you know, and having the classes start on time and not even that, but ahead of time, you guys are on the money. Like, Miles always says at the beginning of his shows, this is going to be the best competition experience of your life. And I'll have to say, honestly, and I'm not being coached to say this, it, this was the best competition experience, not just because I won last time when I was with you guys and I took second. Um, that was also the best competition experience, and this one matched that experience, to be honest. And I, say, and I, I, I am so proud of our team, and I say this, and it's so true. I'm about as sharp as a marble. Anybody knows me. You know that, folks. But, however, I am smart enough to to um, realize that I'm dumb enough that I need to surround myself with great people. And I have done that. As a matter of fact, tonight we give out, I don't know if you saw it or not, but we got awards to Z and Bill. They've been there 15 years and they're making me look so good. And all the red shirts do. So thank you, red shirts. Thank you for NPC family. Vinny's back there and Matt's back there to help out with the shows. You guys are awesome. Um, they have a lot of good people behind these shows. So thank you for saying that. And I do tell them that. I say, guys, our goal is when you're done with Miles Productions, it was the best experience you ever had. Let us know what you like. And more importantly, let us know what you don't like. We say that every show you've been to so far, huh? Yeah. Actually, there was nothing that I didn't like, except not being able to eat carbs. <laughs> Very good. So, you know, you got a lot of experience in your belt now. You won the overall. What do you think you want to do from here? Any thoughts besides eating pizza or something? Eat pizza first. <laughs> um, you know, I actually own my own gym here in town. So, nice. um, you know, focus on helping helping other people achieve the same thing that I just achieved, unbelievable to myself even, but, you know, there's a lot of people that are really inspired by what you guys are doing here in your shows, and, you know, we had a lot of uh, friends, a lot of family, a lot of clients in the audience, and uh, they were all just floored by how great the show was, and nice. for a lot of them, it was their first bodybuilding show that they've been to, and it... I mean, you know, you probably remember the first bodybuilding show you've ever mm -hmm. been to. All I know is for me, it was the single most um, 
it was the single best experience of my life, really. It, it changed my whole life, and it made me want to be a better person in nice. more ways than just improving the way that I look. Yeah, and that's funny you say that, too, because when I first began, um, I, I got first, I got second by one point, the overall winner, and the next six times I won. And to tell you the truth, I was pretty embarrassed I was out there for most of the shows, the way they promoted. So my goal as a promoter was when the family and friends, your family, you, you tell your family you're doing a bodybuilding show, they all roll their eyes going, oh boy, I'll rink a dink. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. My dad was totally freaked oh, out by it. <laughs> and my goal was, and I'll ask you the question when I'm done, the statement is that family and friends walk away blown away. It's like, I had no idea. There's actually production value to it. It's produced well. I mean, it's, and that was always my goal. Was your family surprised? They were, yeah. And uh, they have been to a few other shows that I did as well. And they were, you know, they were pleasantly surprised by how smooth everything went at, at your show. Nice. Let's get back to you. It should be about you, not me. But uh, um, amazing physique. And like I said, you were the smallest guy out there. You brought it. Uh, you had that tiny little waist. I think you're going to go very far in the sport. And uh, did you think about the next competition you want to do, per se? Uh, it's hard for me to think that far ahead yeah. right now, to be honest, because... I didn't think that I was actually going to achieve this level. It caught you by surprise? It really did. Yeah. But you prepared hard for it. Yeah. Did you do anything different from the last show where you got second, this show winning the overall? Did you learn anything new that made a difference in your prep? Uh, you may not remember this, but and this wasn't my last show. And my last show was uh, Europa. Mm -hmm. But the show before that, I did your Desert Storm. Yeah. And uh, you know, after I stepped off stage, you pulled me aside. And you said, you gave me a, a really, really useful tip. And you said, for men's physique, we're looking for more of that curved look. Mm -hmm. You know? So we want more of that side tilted look. And I was kind of giving you guys this hard front bodybuilding pose. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. And so, you know what? I, I worked my ass off on that side pose. Yep. And I brought you guys a side pose this time. So thank you. Yeah, and men's physique, a lot of people get confused and they want that squared on bodybuilding look. When you want a little bit more of a twisting look and you get the waist like this, folks, that's what they're looking for. And you twist it. And too many men's physique try to make it more about bodybuilding. They want to be big because that's what we do as guys, right? So it is about the lines and posing is everything. So yeah, when I see somebody really good, I go up to them and tell them, hey, if you twist, adjust this, this, and that. And of course, after the whole thing is done because I am a fan and I'm a fan of great phenomenal physiques like this and I want to see you reach your potential. So, and that you did tonight. You've been a fantastic champion. Before we end this interview, is there anybody else like to thank mom, dad, girlfriend? Absolutely. For all the dining, you little grouchy, maybe? Well, uh, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, my fiance, yeah. Christina, my sister, Tori, everybody that helped me make this happen, my business partner, Shane Fielder. And that's about oh, it. The name, we got to plug your gym. What's your gym? My gym is uh, Rhythm and Iron. It's off uh, 19th and Northern. That's a cool name. I like that. Yeah. Nice. I trained at. 27th Northern for a lot of years. The old world's out there. Oh, yeah. Years and years ago. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. They turned to pro fitness? No, no, it's been gone for, gosh, I don't know, 15 years, something like that. Well, it's very nice meeting you. You made a fantastic champion. I'm looking for big things coming from you. Ladies and gentlemen, you just met the overall winner of the physique division in the 2017 Felicia Romero Classic slash Western Regional. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.